Welcome to Just Say This, the place to get all the help you need for the birds and bees talks. I'm your host, Amy Lang. Just a quick reminder, this show is for grown-ups because I'll be swearing. There'll be lots of swears, and then I'll also be talking about grown-up sex. I can guarantee that your kids do not want to listen to this, and they really don't want to listen to it with you. You've been warned. Do you have a question for me? Please give me a call. The phone number is 206-926-1522, 206-926-1522, and I will answer on the show. And if you have a funny sex talk story, please call in those as well, 206-926-1522. Thanks. It's time for your weekly chirp. What's a chirp? It's a script. I'll be picking one topic every other week and give you a script. So are they going to be perfect? Oh my God, no. And if you don't like it or you have a real problem with it and you feel like you need to let me know, please don't be a dick about it. They're not going to be perfect. So you need to tweak the language to suit your family. The next thing is this. Uh, Is it going to get the ball rolling? That's the goal. I'm going to give you one little thing to talk to your kids about and you can get at it. If your kids are younger, you're going to dumb the language down, make it simpler. If they're older, you're going to make it more complicated. These are actually directed at nine-year-olds. So enjoy this week's chirp. Hello, and uh, happy Thanksgiving and happy Indigenous Peoples Month. I thought that it might be good for me to talk about what it means to be two-spirit. And so I'm going to give you a little chirp on that in just a minute. If you are a Thanksgiving in America celebrator, I hope you have a super fun time and meal and that you did, if that's what you do. I'm having this thing about being highly resistant to Thanksgiving this year for a variety of reasons. And then I had a brainwave. I was talking to my brother-in-law and what they do for Thanksgiving, it's usually just him and his spouse and their animals, is they have turkey sandwiches. So I just had this brilliant flash of fuck the turkey which I know my friend was like, Amy, the turkey is so easy to cook. And then I think about cutting it. And then I think about people. And I think about gravy. Anyway, which I would make anyway, uh, because I love gravy. And that's one of my superpowers, gravy and parallel parking. I can parallel park like nobody's business. I love it. And gravy, I can make gravy literally out of nothing. If you would like to test that out, let me know. We can meet up. I'll make you gravy and parallel park, maybe at the same time. Anyway, super digressing from everything here, but I'm envisioning this. I'll make turkey breasts. I can do that, even though I like dark meat. I'm probably going to end up with a turkey anyway. And then everybody brings different things to make sandwiches with, like chutney and I don't know, peanut butter, all kinds of different things, different breads, and we have turkey sandwiches instead of the regular turkey thing. Anyway, just throwing that out there. I'm excited about it, as you can hear, and I'm in charge of everything, so I think I'm going to create my own destiny, and I know you're all fascinated, wondering what's going to happen. I'll give you an update. Anyway, back to the more important topic, which is what does it mean to be two spirit? So here is something you can talk with your kids about, and then in the show notes, there is a list of a bunch of books for kids and teens about Two-Spirit. I think it's uh, such a cool thing that the world has made a space for these folks. And so here we go. Two-Spirit is a term that is used by a lot of Indigenous people, Native Americans, to describe someone who embodies both masculine and feminine, male and female, guy and gal characteristics. They feel like both, neither, other, combo pack, We call that non-binary, or we in the, you know, not indigenous culture say that's non-binary. And the term was developed in the 90s by an an indigenous person who wanted to find a space for those folks and a way to talk about it. One of the things about the phrase two-spirit is that it is only used by folks who are indigenous or Native American. It is not to be used by anybody else, frankly. And so we need to be really respectful when we talk about folks who are two-spirit. Uh, there you go. 
pretty simple. Of course, there's always more to it. The big thing here is that you're really clear that this is a term that is not to be used by anybody but Indigenous folks. And then the other piece is they get to decide. So if you're interacting with somebody and you're curious, you can say, you know, I identify as cisgender. I'm curious about your identity. See what they do. Um, Got to be respectful and careful. Anyway, there you go. Happy uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. Happy Turkey Sandwich Thanksgiving. All right. Thanks. And thank you so much for being a listener and sharing my podcast with folks. I so appreciate it. It does my heart such good when I hear that I've helped folks. So I just want to say thank you for keeping me entertained and, you know, maybe saving your little corner of the world. That's it for this week. Thanks to everyone who's been calling in. The number is 206-926-1522. So please leave me a message if you have a question or a tale from the trenches. And thank you to Melanie Smith, my producer, and to Rolf, who wrote the Birds and Bees and Kids theme song. 